in there. All right. No plan B. There's no plan B for the EI-18. How you guys doing? So far, so good. I don't know. Shouldn't the legs of a relay be like kids? You really shouldn't have favorites. Number one, Team America! There is nothing like running a relay race. Um, there's nothing like the camaraderie, the teamwork, all those kinds of things. And when I thought about the best way to spread the word, the best way to spread the word was to put on a relay. There was not another one in the D.C. area. It seemed to make a lot of sense to do it, and I just love the interaction with the runners. It gives you a team spirit type of experience that running doesn't typically um, have. So this race has runners of all different types. We have marathoners who are doing it just for fun and to take a break from the type of running they do. And then we have people who jog every day who want to test themselves or challenge themselves to do something that's more difficult. Someone once described a relay race as a 24 to 30 hour road trip with intermittent bursts of running. And that's a great description of it because that's really what happens. Um, there's way more time spent not running, actually, than there is running, but that time is support time where you're helping your other runners, you're figuring out the logistics of it. If you run a 10K or you run a half marathon, it's about the running. Um, here, it's about the running, but it's also about the nutrition. It's about trying to capture an hour or two of sleep. It's about interacting with your van mates. It's about singing badly to the iPod. Uh, it's about lots and lots of different things that happen along the way, and it's an adventure. Um, at the end of the day, it's a road trip and it's an adventure. I think running through Antietam in the middle of the night is amazing. So I think that's a really special experience. Leg uh, two through the um, battlefield of Gettysburg is an enormously beautiful leg. Leg six, the killer leg, um, has got to be a favorite. Legs eight and nine through Michaud State Forest are absolutely fantastic. I also think running along the canal is beautiful. It's something that we have here in the Washington DC area that we don't necessarily use as much as we could. So seeing it for that many miles is, is pretty beautiful and amazing. Basically, we love doing these relay races and we decided to have a lot of fun with it this time. Is this your first year here at American Odyssey? With American Odyssey, yes. Yeah, so, what do you think so far? Oh, loving it, having a great time. Uh, I'm sorry, were you asking me a question, ma'am? <laughs> you have to speak up a little bit. It's hard to hear. <laughs> we're, team, problems. we're teams one and teams two. <laughs> yeah, I just call her. And we yeah, have been for three years. Question. So it's fun. And funny things always happen that you talk about, you know, years later. Or like, we still talk about what happened the first year and what happened the second year. And next year we'll talk about what happened this year. So, memories. We sort of use it as a physical fitness yeah. challenge and uh, a challenge for orienteering and knowing where we are, being prepared. We're a team of all women, 12 women, and um, we're just, we're really excited to be here. We're looking forward to it. Yes, yes, it, is. Is. yes it is. Love it. It's good stuff. We're running in memory of our fellow agent, Ball Sam Hicks, agent. out of Pittsburgh. Thank you. Here, let me see the front. The front. Woo! Um, irrespective of whether you run for a cause, we have adopted several causes. The um, wellness community of DC is a cancer support services charity, and I adopted that charity in honor of my mother, who had breast cancer in 1972. And then we also have Team Red, White, and Blue and Hope for the Warriors, both of which support military causes, um, helping injured veterans to become reintegrated into society. And I chose those charities to honor my late father, who fought in World War II. Being in the Marine Corps myself and uh, having deployed, um, it's great to know there's an organization like this that takes care of the wounded Marines, airmen, sailors, soldiers, and, and the families. And that's, that's the kicker there. We have entire towns coming out in different ways helping AOR and its runners. We have families manning transitions. We have teams of runners from years before manning different locations um, where we need important volunteers. Boonsboro, in the middle of the course, 
Uh, the entire high school comes out and the Boosters Club is out there. They're grilling burgers and um, frying up some french fries. They open up the school for us so our runners can take showers, can get massages, can sleep in the gym. Uh, it's just a spectacular middle of the race. In Shepherdstown, West Virginia, the Boy Scouts come out and they make a pancake breakfast, which has been a huge hit. Virtually every team will send uh, their other 11 uh, runners out to join their last runner for the last 100 or 150 yards, and they all finish together. Uh, particularly the military teams will be carrying the American flag. They may be chanting uh, some sort of slogan or something, and to see how moved they are, makes us understand how much we're really providing for them. If you have a sense of spirit and a sense of adventure and you want to try something a little bit different, it's an incredible experience. It's like nothing you will ever do um, in running. How is it to be finished? It's great to be finished. We had an awesome time. Yeah. When I was like watching it, I was like counting. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Think about turning around and going back. <laughs> Sun was shining, it was all good.